Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Hi, sorry if you just heard me coughing. It's been um, awful. <laughs> I've been very, very sick, but I am coming live. I'm going to see if I could do this. Um, <coughs> I have a bit of a glare. I should have shut those shades. Um, anyways, I'll give it a minute because I haven't gone live in probably over a week, so I don't even know who's going to be on here because it's been quite a while. So as you're popping in, um, I am alive. I, I appreciate people reaching out and wishing me well. You guys, I have been, I was gone on a eight day cruise and then I came home and got the flu, um, like the flu B. So like the awful freaking strand of the flu. <coughs> And then, <coughs> I'm going to see if I can make it through. And then it moved into like a sinus in infection, you guys. So I went from flu to sinus infection and like a bronchial thing. It's crazy. But we're going to make this work because I want to talk to you guys about branding because I feel so strongly about building mm -hmm. a brand. And I know a lot of people out there, a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with building a brand. And right now I'm going through my branding boot camp. Today is the second call uh, we went through last week, and wow is all I can say. Um, I'm very impressed with this group. They're amazing entrepreneurs, amazing women. And um, I started out with talking a lot about mindset, you guys, and, and, and with them. And let me tell you some blocks that came down. So one of my passions is helping people overcome their stuff because um, we all have it, okay? And when you're building a brand, one of the things that you have to do is you have to put yourselves out there, okay? So I'm going to be talking about that, but I do, I want to say hello to all of you popping in. Hey, Margaret, what's up? Hi, Courtney. How are you guys? Hey, Eva. How are you, dear? You guys should follow Eva Taylor, that woman. She is so creative. Um, she's just amazing. But um, so if you are new to me, <coughs> I apologize. I've been sick. Um, but I do miss all of you. So I wanted to pop on here today and do this live and, um, uh, talk to you about branding. But if you are new to me, please, please put hashtag uh, new and I can send you one of my free resources, or you can head over to create success with julie.com. That's all one word, create success with julie.com and type in your, um, email and get one of my free resources and so there's many um on there but anyways wait till after the broadcast so uh real quick i'll share my story i have been in network marketing for six years i um built multiple multiple six figures inside the network marketing space i actually almost hit millionaire in my last company and i left i walked away to start over again last june um, there are many reasons why I don't have time to get into that right now, but one of the greatest things and the reason why I've been building so fast with my new company and flying through the ranks is because I already was building a brand and a following and doing the do. Okay. And this is where I say, you know, people in network marketing, they say, build your business first, then you build your brand. And I'm not saying it's not important to build your business, but you build your brand as you build your business, you guys. I, I want you to understand that. I don't, I don't agree. And a lot of people that are saying you build your business first is a lot of the top earners in the company that are a little bit more, have been around the block for a while. And they don't really understand the social media thing or they under, don't under really understand the importance of branding. And so they're telling their team, like, don't focus on branding, just promote the product, just promote the company. But what's happening is people are spamming. People are spamming links. People are spamming their friends and family. And it just leaves a really icky, un unauthentic feeling. And so for me, I, I was probably about four years into my network marketing journey. And this was two years ago. And I stopped and I said, you know what? I feel like I'm being labeled, even though I was doing social media right and I was creating curiosity and all this stuff, I just felt like I was being labeled as this shake girl, okay? Because one of the main components to my last company's product was shakes. 
And I'm like, you know what? I'm so much more than a shake or I'm so much more than a supplement. I'm Julie, okay? And so back then, you didn't really, like brand, building a brand was just kind of, it was like the up and coming. It wasn't like necessarily really talked about. So a lot of people looked at me like, what is she doing over here? And like, what is Julie doing? I see Julie doing more videos or I see Julie promoting herself more. Like, what is she doing? Well, I was developing my brand. Well, how was I developing my brand? So a lot of people associate branding with like company logo and website and colors. And even though, yes, that's part of a brand, that's part of the brand that catches the eye, right? Like that's why we always talk about posting um you know, lately I've been posting like these really cool videos. Lately I've been posting like really vibrant colors and pictures and things that are captivating to the eye because you have like three seconds to grab their attention. But yeah, once you pull them in, you guys, a brand is so much more. It is building, it is, it goes deeper. And this is where people don't understand and they get lost in how to build a brand because a brand is really about you, your core values and the depth of which you believe and like, and, and like you being, okay? So it's, it's more of your personality and you're going to attract the right person. You guys, this is attraction marketing, okay? When you build a powerful personal brand, this is where you start attracting people to you. So there are many reasons why, and I'm going to give you seven reasons why. And I wrote them down. I have them here. You guys, welcome to my house. This is my home. I don't know if you guys could see around. I'll show you around. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So um, I know I usually do my, my lives in my office, but do you guys have any, it, let me know if you guys have any questions and let me ask you guys a question. Let me stop there and ask you guys a question. Do you feel it is important to build your own personal brand? And if that is a yes, I need you to drop me an emoji right now. And I need to check the time because I have a 10 o'clock. Okay. So if you feel it is important inside the network marketing space to build your own brand, I want you to drop me an emoji because I feel very, very, very strongly about this. You guys, I could teach you um, how to close. I could teach you how to sell authentically. I could teach you scripts. Um, I could teach you how to overcome objections. I could teach you how to prospect. I could teach you all of those aspects inside of network marketing. Now, that's typically what people want to know. But what I'm going to tell you right now is one of the way to get one of the ways to get a steady stream of people and leads and prospects coming to you is by building a personal brand. And so that's number one. That's the number one reason. Why do you want to do it? Well, do you want to continue to go out and chase people or do you want to meet new people? Do you want to attract people to you for a certain reason? Right. And so this is where I always go back to, you have to be real to who you are and stop and put the blinders on to what's going on around you and actually going inward and thinking, okay, what are, what is my mission? What is my mission statement? How do I want people to perceive me? How do I want to show up in this world? Like these are, it's just, it's very, very important. And so I'll tell you right now, most network marketers, they're not thinking this way. And so this is part of my job to do what, when I go out there and I teach and I train is to help open up your mindset. Okay. So I see a lot of emojis. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing. Yeah. So cool. You guys are on the same page with me. This is good. Okay. So number one reason is a steady stream of prospects. The reason why I'm building so fast in my new company, my new network marketing company, once I vocalized that I made the change is because people want to join me. They're not joining my product. They're not joining my company. They're not joining my compensation plan. They want to literally join me and to the point of where they don't even know the company name and they're like, how do I join you? Okay. Uh, that's the power behind building a personal brand. That is the power behind, um, you know, being perceived as an authority in the market in the market, right? And how do how am I perceived that way? Well, because I show up consistently for the last two years and I've been giving value. I've been offering value and I've been coaching and I've been doing all the, I've been doing the do, okay? And so number two is also having rewarding partnerships. There have been many exposure agents along the way as I've been building my brand. And that's super important, you know, um, 
very good friend of mine, Ray Higdon, always talks about um, exposure agents. And I remember him saying that two years ago when I started breaking into the online space and learning online marketing and attraction marketing and building this brand. And, and he said that, and I'm like, you know what? How do you, basically you just show up. You have to show up in your life. You have to show up and give value. And you have to show up and start reaching out and building relationships with these people that are exposure agents. And that's what I did, okay? And it's part of developing your brand. Now your brand will also develop as you go. So I don't like to see when people are like so hung up like on like, oh my gosh, I don't know what my brand should be. Guess what? If you are true to yourself, your core values, you think about what excites you, what fires you up, okay? What are you passionate about? Guess what? Then you know how to create your content and then you know what to put out there and you're going to attract the right people to you. That's what happens. And then your brand can continue to evolve as you mm -hmm. go. Uh, three, there's leadership opportunities, right? <clears throat> in building a brand, like I said, you're looked at as an authority. You're looked at as a leader in the minds, in, in the marketplace. Number four, um, you have a association with the market niche. So what niche are you in? Okay. Are you in health and wellness? Are you in travel? Are you in oils? Are you now again, you're not building a brand around your company. Okay. But you have to understand what is it that excites me? So when I was, um, deciding to start my fan page, um, I was at a mastermind uh, with Tanya Liza. She was like the very first person I learned about online marketing. My head wanted to spin because it was like this. I was just very, very new to this space and like learning all this stuff. But she said to me, one of the things she said to me is, um, how you, how do you want to brand yourself? Do you, do you want to go health and wellness and fitness um, that route? Or do you want to go entrepreneur because you can't do both? because you're gonna confuse your audience. Now you start somewhere, but you could always evolve. Like now I'm to the point like where if I wanted to talk about the importance of health and wellness on my fan page for entrepreneurs, I could do that. But in the beginning, you wanna kind of just pick one. So I went the entrepreneur route. I went like, well, I have built six figures in network marketing space and again, don't get hung up by you have to be an expert in something because I'll tell you something about that. I When I was talking about that early on, how I created all this income inside of network marketing, I actually was doing myself a disservice with my audience because they felt like they couldn't relate. So once I stopped talking about that and I just said, you know, um, I'm giving you network marketing tips and trainings what have you, I then had a broader audience because I wasn't talking about all the success and the glory. So don't feel that you have to have like all the success out there to be able to offer value to somebody else, okay? If you're thinking that way, you're in your own way. You're in your own way, like that's ego and you need to like kind of just shed that and like let it go and just show up and offer the value because I will tell you right now, you don't have to create a million dollars because I could have sat there and I could have said, well, who am I to give expert advice on network marketing? I'm not making a million dollars a year in network marketing. I could have done the same thing, you guys. And so just, you don't need, you just need to share your story. That's why a story is so important to understand how to craft your story and also how to change your story up here. The story that you're telling yourself. Okay. So it's something else I'm going through with my boot campers, but um, a story is everything when you're building your brand, right? Um, greater cred credibility, okay? That's five, greater cred credibility. It gives you, when you build this brand, it like equals credibility. Like, I, I don't know, it's crazy. There have been times where I jump on the call with potential um, coaching clients and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm talking to you. And I'm like, what? It's, it's really strange, it is, but they get super excited and weirded out that they're talking to me, but but I get it. I felt that way when I first talked to Ray, you know, mm -hmm. or um, Tanya, right? What have you, now they're good friends, but yeah, in the beginning, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm on the phone with Ray, you know, it's just, it's weird. Um, and so it's just little old me, but yeah, that's how I'm perceived in the marketplace for those that have been following me, which is, which is cool, funny, and weird all together. But it is, you get this 
credibility around you, right? And so, um, and then number six is recognition and prestige, um, which always is awesome when you're building a brand. And then number seven is higher perceived value. So there's so much that you can um, do and create, but one of the things you will do that is going to help benefit your business in a network marketing space by building a brand is building your business faster because you are going to attract the right people to you. Now, I don't have time to go into like really getting deep inside of um, all the things about branding, but I just wanted to hop on here and tell you that it is important uh, here are the reasons why it's important. If you don't believe me, um, you can look at my journey. And so um, those that want to say that build your business first, then your brand, um, I don't agree. I simply do not agree. I believe that if you build your powerful personal brand and then your audience will show up. So many people are sick and tired of just friends and family and warm market. So how do you branch out? You branch out by building up your personal brand and starting with who you are, who you want to serve, who you want to attract to you, your personality, your passions, what you stand for, your core values, all of that. That's how you build your personal brand. The logos, the websites, the coloring, all of that, the, that is part of the visibility of capturing them because let's face it, you guys, our feed is very, very busy and so you have to start getting creative. You literally, and so I'm challenging my boot campers to step outside of their comfort zone, step outside of their box, create that influential brand and um, anyway, so that's what we're working on. So you guys... I hope that this helped you. I don't even know what some of you guys have written. I've never seen anyone brand outside of offering coaching. Yeah, so um, Tamara, that, so you don't have to just be a coach to build a personal brand. Like you absolutely, like I said, can build a personal brand. You don't have to just be a coach to build a brand. You could build it in network marketing. You could build it in affiliate marketing. You guys, every single one of my businesses have, have went to six figures because I built a brand. It all started with that. I was offering so much value that um, I wasn't selling anything. I literally started my fan page in June of 2016, and I just started showing up and offering um, trainings and tips and strategies and value, and I, I was just putting it all out there. I was just putting it all out there. I was doing Facebook Lives, and I never asked for a sale. I never asked them to join my company. Um, I just was offering value and then it was like June, July, August, September. I don't know. It was like five months and I, um, I, I actually had people reach out to me and they're like, Hey, do you coach you guys? That's how my coaching business developed is because somebody asked me if I would coach them. That's it. And I started thinking like, Hey, I could be a coach. Why can't I be a coach? Like I can help this person. You guys being a coach is being, having knowledge and understanding what it is and how to get that person a result, okay? And so I started my coaching business. Um, and then what I did is uh, an affiliate contest in October of 2016. It was the first time I ever promoted anything to my following, and um, I freaking crushed the contest. It was amazing. Um, I had people like John and Nadia Mountain in there who are my great friends. <laughs> and my business partners, but at the time they weren't. And I'm like, oh my gosh, these people have a huge following. How am I going to win this contest? And, and, and just like some other amazing online marketers that like really crush contests. And then there was little old Julie and that's really what put me on the map. And the reason why is because my audience was so hungry to buy because I, I was building up so much value and giving them so much and building up this this brand of, you know, no fluff. She's really authentic. I trust her. I like her. Does that make sense, you guys? So your brand is all about you. It's not about your company. It's not about your, my coaching business. It's not about my affiliate marketing business. It's not about my products. It's not about any of that. My brand is me and it's what I stand for. Good, bad, ugly. Okay, controversial or not controversial. There are certain things I could talk about that are going to be controversial. It, it, you can rock the boat. Who's to say you can't rock the boat? You will attract the right people to you for you, okay? 
And so, um, again, I have to run. I hope this made sense. Um, I hope you found value in it. Please like, comment, share. Let me know um, if if you guys have any other questions um, in regards to brand or doing Facebook Lives or what have you. Um, I am running this boot camp right now. It was four weeks. I ended up extending it to five weeks. I love surprising my students. Um, it is closed, and I wasn't sure if I, I was going to offer it again. Um, and I don't know what style I will offer it again in, but if you would like to be part of it and get on the list, just put list below if you would like to learn more about um, unleashing your brand. That's my boot camp, okay? All right, guys, I have to run. Be blessed as always. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next live. I made it without totally choking, <laughs> coughing all the way through. All right, bye, guys.